Insurance is one of those things that's a complete waste of money unless you need to claim on it and then it becomes the most valuable thing that you could possibly have. I was thinking about this today and just was wondering what other types of things fell, in, fell into this category. And the industry that I could think about the most came out of examples out of the health industry, such as things like the EpiPen or the Surgeon. But the difference between that and insurance is that insurance requires you to pay an ongoing premium just in the off chance that you need to claim on it. So today's question for you is what sort of things can you think of that require you to pay an outgoing amount of money on a regular basis just in the off chance that you can use it? And then when you do use it, it becomes the most invaluable thing that you could possibly have. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Unless you actually claim on your insurance, the premiums that you spend will feel like a complete waste of money. If you do need to claim on it, it becomes one of the most valuable things that you could possibly have. Insurance is one of those necessary evils that we all know that we need, but we hope we never need to use. To take out insurance or not is a gamble. So if you do take out the insurance, the gamble is that you pay for the premiums every single month and you don't actually need to use the policy. But the gamble of not having insurance is that you take the risk that you're not gonna pay for something, and then in the off chance that something does happen, you're then in a position that you don't have any backup plan other than relying on yourself to fund anything that needs to be done. The challenge that you're then faced with is working out how much money you're prepared to spend on a monthly basis and essentially how much you're prepared to lose because the chances are that you're going to spend all this money over the journey and never need to claim on it. The way I suggest doing this is working out some tangible benefits that you're trying to protect and things that are important to you and have a reason behind the numbers that you've picked. This is why I don't believe in the multiple of salary style calculation. I believe drilling down further is really important and making sure that the amount of cover that you've picked is appropriate for you based on your exact personal circumstances. And the reason for that is that you can come back and revisit that as those inputs change over time. So most people then ask me, how much do I need or where do I start? To help you with this, what I've done is built a tool that'll walk you through the questions that you need to answer that will help give you an amount of insurance that's based on tangible inputs from you. These things are gonna change over time and will allow you to come back to them at sort of scheduled periods of time, say 12 months, 24 months, that sort of thing, and then reduce or increase the cover that you need based on those inputs. What this comes back to you with is what I call a Rolls Royce level of cover. Now for most people that I work with, they don't drive Rolls Royces. So we need to work backwards from there and trade off some of the costs and benefits to come back to a place where the, the spend that you've got on an ongoing basis fits in with your budget, but also covers enough of the basis that you're looking to do should anything happen to you. Using that same car analogy, you don't want to be driving around in a 1986 Toyota Corolla Seeker, but you also don't want to be in that Rolls Royce. So it's about finding that happy medium somewhere in the middle. So if you need some help with this, use the calculator tool that I've provided. Uh, I've built this tool on the Facebook Messenger platform. So you don't need to meet with anyone. There's no phone calls or anything like that. And within 20 minutes, you'll be sent a personalized report based on how much cover you need.